Hello everyone, I'm Jin, teacher from Reading Town. Today our article is entitled Telescopes Magnifying Light. So as you can see the picture, this is what a telescope is. So what do we use a telescope for? Do we use it to do our homework when we can't see in our rooms? No. We use the telescope to look far out into space. So telescopes magnifying light. So magnifying is a verb and what is it doing? Magnify means to make bigger and we all know what light is, it helps us see. So the telescopes use magnifying lenses and light so that we can see images from far away. So without something like a telescope we wouldn't have been able to find out what stars are or what the planets do or how they move. So the telescope has helped us in many ways. Let's read about today's article. It says most people believe Galileo invented the telescope. Galileo was a famous inventor from a long time ago. He invented many different things and telescope is one of the most important things that has contributed to us. He was the first person to use it to study the stars. But the telescope was actually invented by Hans Lippershey in 1608. It was, the uh, it was first used by sailors and soldiers to see across distances. A classic telescope is made with many lenses or mirrors that gather, bend, and focus light. Looking through a telescope magnifies or makes bigger the objects so we can see clearly. This 400 year old invention has given light to some amazing things. So when we see that phrase has given light, that doesn't mean you just turn on the light and it becomes brighter, but given light also means open up the way or allow us to understand more. So if you say, uh, I wasn't sure and then my teacher has given light to the problem, that means allowed me to understand clearer or better or also help me to understand something new or make new learning possible. So this 400 year old invention, this telescope has allowed us to invent even greater things and more valuable things. Many people believe that uh, this invention is the most important invention when it comes to space exploration. How would we know what's outside in space if we could not go there first. Because we couldn't go to outer space, inventions like the telescope allowed us to see what's in outer space. How was it first used? In the passage it says that a long time ago sailors and soldiers would use it. Why would sailors use a telescope or a form of a telescope? Mm, out in the ocean can you see very clearly? Not far. So something would have to help them to see what's ahead of them so that they would not get into any accidents. Also same thing for soldiers. Long time ago when there were a lot of wars and battles you need to see where the, where the soldiers are on the enemy side. So these smaller telescopes were used to help them see far distances so that they would uh, stay clear from danger. So these telescopes the part that helps us see so far are these different lenses or these mirrors. Inside of a telescope there's a lot of mirrors that use light to give us a clearer, bigger image. So today magnifying glasses are used commonly when we study. They use a smaller lens so that we can see. Sometimes even slight magnifying glasses are used in our glasses for people who have bad eyesight. So today's lesson I want you to keep in mind the key words telescope, lenses, and especially the word magnifying, which means allowing us to see or uh, making an image larger. Here let's go into our exercise for today. Let's fill in the blanks thinking about the article that we just read. Yes, in the picture once again we see a telescope and how it's commonly used to look out into the stars. Here it says, most people believe Galileo something the telescope. We know we have the nouns Galileo and the telescope and we're missing a verb. So Galileo, yes, invented, invented or created uh, the telescope. Okay. Um, the next sentence, Galileo was the first person to use a telescope to something the stars. Once again, we need a verb because we already have the noun the stars. What did he use the telescope for? Did he use the telescope to make the stars? To that's right, to study the stars. Okay, So we can also say to see the stars but according to the passage he was using it 
to study the stars. Actually, Galileo used the position of the stars to figure out how the Earth moves, where the Earth is in relation to the universe. So he used the telescope to really study the, the stars. Lastly, we have C, the telescope was something invented by Hans Lippershey. So what did he do? He invented. So we might need a word that tells us how he invented or when he invented. That's right, actually invented. Okay, the telescope was actually invented not by Galileo, but by Hans Lippershey. So, actually means really. Right? So, here today's passage, we learned about the invention of the telescope. Uh, many people believe that it's Galileo, but it was actually invented by Hans Lippershey. So, here we get to understand the words magnifying, we get to understand invented and actually. So these are words that I would hope that you would use and as you look out into the stars remember if it weren't for the invention of this telescope and the magnifying lens we would totally be in the dark about what the stars are, where we are. So think about the greatest inventions and telescope is definitely one of them. Let's go on to the next exercise. In order to use the words correctly, let's use the correct tenses and see how they fit into our sentences. So if you look at the first one, the telescope was first used to see across far distances or to seeing across far distances or to saw across far distances. Well, we know it's not to saw because the tenses don't match. First used to seeing across far distances, that sounds kind of funny. So when we use a to, it's usually just the regular verb by itself. So used to see far across far distances. Let's look at the second sentence. Lenses, we talked about lenses. Lenses are those glasses that use light and mirror uh, so that we can see images uh, bigger and clearly. So it says lenses is mirrors that gather, bend and focus light. Well, we know that lenses is plural and we cannot use the be verb is. Lenses are mirrors that gather, bend, and focus light. That sounds good, but let's just double check the last one. Lenses was mirrors that gather, bend, and focus light. Well, was is a past tense, and we're always saying lenses usually, right? It's true because they never used to just gather, bend, and focus light. They always do. So we know that it's not a past tense. So here, lenses are mirrors that gather, bend, and focus light would be the best choice, the correct choice. The last sentence, telescopes magnifying objects because that we can see them clearly, when that we can see them clearly, or so that we can see them clearly. So this one, uh, because it's saying that's the reason, but that's not true in this sentence. When is saying only if, and that's not true. So telescopes magnify objects so that, so, so that is saying in order to. So, so that we can see them clearly. So, as you think about today's passage and what we learned about the telescope, make sure that you correctly use these words in the right tenses, but also think about the words that we learned today. Magnifying, we learned about lenses, we learned about the telescope. So, if you ever wonder what's out there, then you can use the telescope, or if you can't see something, maybe you need to use a magnifying lens. In these ways, these are, once again, another great invention and words that you and I can use going forward. Thank you very much. I'm Jin Teacher from Reading Town. See you around.